In this, in this video, we will look at how to use uh, uh, your source code or how to connect to an Azure artifact from your source code uh, instead of uh, relying on the IDE and various other tools that you may have to configure again and again for a new developers and, our, and team. So what we're going to see here is how to uh, update or how to uh, um, update the New get sources are the Azure artifact feeds in as part of your source code and manage as a config file in the code and, and uh, thereby and, and uh, avoiding the dependency of configuring it in every page and every developer box and uh, environments. So uh, as as again, uh, all, this will be a very practical session which you can follow the steps. And if you're not seen my previous videos on Azure artifact to understand basics of how to create a feed and manage, uh, click on the link uh, uh, in the description to uh, view. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Chaitanya and you can call me Chai. I have more than a decade and a half of experience with software development as a developer, tech lead, architect and various other roles around designing and delivering software products. So let's get started to understand how to uh, use the config file in your source code to specify the source of your NuGet packages or Azure Artifact feed uh, and, and um, the source code or the new members would directly be able to connect as long as they have access. So uh, just like in my previous video, I have the academic academy feed uh, feed, and then when I click on connect to feed, here again uh, it will list down all the various uh, options and uh, and steps to connect using various IDEs and tools. Uh, since here we are using the NuGet, I'm going to select NuGet. Now here is where you can specify uh, or you will see the steps of how to uh, include a nuget.config file uh, into your source code so so that you can configure uh, the source and the access to that in the source code and no need to update anywhere else so back to visual studio uh, what i'll do is i'll go here and add a new file new item and I'll, sele I'll select the XML file. Let me search for XML. I'll select an XML file and I'll call it. Uh, I'll give it a name, nuget.config. So here I have a simple nuget.config file and going back to the steps, I'll copy the complete body and paste. So now what we are basically doing here I'm just trying to see if we can. So here um, basically the configuration it provides the sources all the sources available and then we are adding a new key called academy feed with the source so you will notice before that we are saying clear, which means which indicates to the uh, the build agent or uh, our Visual Studio to clear all the sources so that only this is the feed or the source that is available. So now whenever you build or anytime you build this code or you try to manage it, the the source code or the the ID would use the nuget.config to connect to the source and uh, download the packages or view the packages. So uh, this is a way to uh, avoid a dependency on the tools, IDs that the developer is going to use and keep it as part of the you know, project. Uh, you need to be careful with respect to uh, the security side of it, wherein you have to ensure the source code is, con is secured and controlled before you go with this option uh, so that uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, get into a uh, security issue. So uh, with this specified and uh, academic feed, again, 
uh, first time uh, anybody log in, it would ask you to log in to ensure that the developer has access uh, in, to this feed before it can view or uh, allow us to view and download the. Thank you.